Hey everybody, this is Tempe and I'm back with another video review. Uh, this time I'm back with Fans Projects Retro Futures uh, Glacial Lords Combined video. Uh, how to transform each individual figure, how to transform each individual piece into its combined mode uh, component. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get this, this started. So let's start with the legs. So we'll go ahead and pull these guys out of the way. Alright, so and we'll start with um, with tail club so basically let me alright so we're gonna go ahead and start with tail club um, you need to start with him in his robot mode we'll take the club and we're gonna take this and pull him apart we're gonna take the head and actually this way take that apart take this put these together and then you'll push them in um, you're gonna push them in here, kind of squat them down like that, and you'll take the hands, fold them up, place them down like this, and then you're gonna take and flip this up like here, like this, and then you'll take that and put that back like that, and then you'll rotate. You're going to rotate this guy around. And you want to rotate him around until this portion right here is on the top. So you need to flip that up. And then you have that connector port right there. And you fold this up so that the head is like that. And you want to take this. Attach it like that. And there you have that foot. So we'll put that off to the side. And then we'll start with the next foot, which is... Razor spike, we're going to take and remove that, and we'll put the arms down, arms down, and then bring that up like that, and then we'll take this part, flip it up, flip that in, flip it in just enough, you don't want to flip it all the way in, so you want to hold this, and then push it in like that. And then what you want to do is take this, rotate this around. You want to flip this up, rotate it around. You see that, that thing right there. You want to flip it all the way up like that. And then you want to take and go like that with the rhino. Flip that up. Take this. Tab it into that hole. Like that. And there you have the next leg. So set that off to the side. So the next we're going to take uh, Fangor, so we want to take him, and we actually want to take this, we want to pull, open that off, pull this off, set that off to the side, and then take, and collapse that down like that, and then we want to take, flip this up, flip the head, or connect the head back on there, and then we want to take, and leave the arms like that, flip them up like this, flip that up like that, so that it's, actually this is supposed to be level, so this part of the shoulder is supposed to be level, and then you want to pull it forward, so that the connector then pops out right here. Uh, the fist is on Tankor, so I'll show you that whenever we get to that, so set that off to the side. Alright, so next we have Mega Zero, so you want to go ahead and um, take this, and then you want to take the arms, flip them back like that, and then you're going to take, and once again you're going to flip this forward like this, and you're going to flip that forward so that it covers up the head. You'll take the head and go like that, and then it's on a track, so you'll actually be able to slide slide the whole head assembly down so like that so you see that see it slides up and then it slides down so all right and like I said the uh, the fists are on tankor so or on Tuscor so uh, we'll get into that in just a little bit so let me bring out Tuscor all right so now we got to get this guy into his combined mode so you leave you want to leave the head and everything up you want to pull off the shield 
flip that down. You're going to pull off the gun. Set all that stuff off to the side. Once again, very back heavy. Flip this around. And you're going to take this and you're actually going to pull it out and flip it forward. And then you'll push it back a little bit. Then you want to flip. It doesn't really lock into place, so it's kind of a little weird. And you want to flip this around so that you have the new the new combiner head. And you want to pull all this kind of kind of together. Flip that down. <clears throat> and then you're gonna flip this up. Flip this up. Take. I think you fold this up. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. But you want to take and take this. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me do this first. Go like that. And like that. And then you take and rotate this out like that. And all this kind of snaps in together. Like that. And then you want to fold That folds down like that, and then right here that folds down. Sorry, normally isn't that isn't that tough, but then you have that, and then you want to take this piece right here, and I don't remember how this latch. Okay, these two tabs right here latch into right there and right there, so that's where that goes. Like that. And then you have the core mode for test score. So then you want to bring out all the rest of the guys. So we'll bring out the feet first. So feet first. And then you just want to combine them into the ports on there. And right there. You want to bring out the arms. Something that I forgot to pull out are the hands that are in here. So, there's a hand right there, and then there's a hand right here. So these are where the hands are in test score. So, you pull those out. You want to take one hand, put it on Fangor, right there, and then tab it into right there. Take the other hand and put it on Mega Zero. Flip that around. See, there's a thumb on there, so you can tell there's a thumb um, because there are holes on both sides of the hand. So, so then you have that, and then um, so he's he's pretty much built already now. So then you just need to combine his weapon, and to do that, you get all the rest of the weapon pieces. And you want to take this right here, and there's two tabs right there, and you see the two holes right here. Take those, put that like that. You want to twist that first. And then you want to take this, and then there's a hole right there, his tab right here. Take that like that. And then you have his, his little combined weapon. It's not really little, but it's you know, a combined weapon, so... Um, he has his, his gun, which is goes all the way down the floor when he's holding it. Um, I think for a retro type of figure that this thing looks awesome. He, he's smaller on the third party side. The rest of the gestalts come up to about, you can't even see that, I'm off, I'm off the camera. They come up, up above his head. Um, so he is, he is smaller in terms of them so they you know they don't really fit along with your fans projects uh, Minasaur or like say your uh, uh, TFC toys uh, Superion or Devastator uh, it doesn't really really go to scale with that but you know if you wanted to you can make that work so um, let's try to see if I could yeah, you can get some some outward motion on that. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Um, 
All right, so for articulation with him in this mode, his his head's a little wonky. Sometimes it doesn't wanna, it doesn't really fit on there directly. Um, I've been able to do it really good sometimes, and sometimes it just doesn't want to work. Um, just mainly because of that back piece, there's no place for anything to tab into each other, and the helmet doesn't really tab into anything, so it kind of ends up looking strange sometimes. But uh, with the articulation, you do get shoulder articulation. That's pretty much it. You can rotate the wrist because of uh, the peg, and then you can also rotate this out some. Uh, you need to push the head up of Mega Zero a little bit to do it a little bit more on him. Um, with the, the legs, you don't get no, you don't get any kind of articulation, but you can get with the with the connector here the way the connector goes. You can get um, kind of knee articulation, but if you can't get anything up here in the thighs, then the knee articulation is kind of pointless in my uh, my opinion. I, I do give this guy you know two thumbs up. If you can find him for a decent price, I sold mine like way below value on it. I like I said, I really needed the money, but I want to thank the person that that bought it from me for allowing me to have a little bit of extra time with them to uh, to get this review out for you guys but like I said if you can find him and you can find him for a decent price uh, go ahead and pick him up because he's well worth it he is well worth it um, I bought him on the re-release when they re-released him in the whole set uh, at Fans Project for uh, I think it was about 220 I think that was it uh, 220 shipped so um, that's not too bad for a uh, for a third party five figured thing um, like I said it, it's a little bit smaller I think he's worth it you know he'd look a little bit more complete if I had all the stickers on him but I'm not gonna do that because I I sold him like this so that's gonna go ahead and do it for my review of fans projects retro future glacial Lord thanks for watching don't forget to check out my other videos do subscribe and follow me on Twitter this is Tambiota and I'll see you next time